The NFL community losing a longtime member this week in a tragic accident in California. The family of New York Jets assistant coach Greg Knapp announcing the 58-year-old head coach, the 58-year-old assistant coach, excuse me, has passed away. Knapp came into the league as a player before transitioning to various coaching positions on the offensive side of the ball over the 25 seasons he was in the league. He celebrated a Super Bowl championship as the quarterback coach of the Broncos in 2015, but that was just a part of the decades of relationships built with people in and around the league. We have a statement uh, from Jets head coach Robert Sala who said the loss of a loved one is always a challenge, but it's harder when it's completely unexpected. Thank you for all you have shared with us. You will be missed, brother. Uh, Steve Weish of NFL Network covering Greg Knapp at several spots during those 25 years. Now he's got an article on his memory on NFL.com. Go read it, Steve. Uh, a loss for the Jets and the league as a whole this week. Uh, 100%. I mean, it's been a, a very tragic week. Uh, Greg was riding his bike, got hit by a car last Saturday, and ever since then, a lot of people have been very close to Greg. Coaches, media members, former players um, have been reaching out in kind of a network, kind of getting updates and, and just kind of talking about Knapp throughout his entire career. And, you know, our Steve Mariucci, you know, coach with Greg Knapp with the 49ers and players like Jeff Garcia and Steve Young um, have, have played, you know, under Knapp. I covered the Atlanta Falcons, as when D'Angelo Hall played for them and Greg Knapp was the OC when Michael Vick was the quarterback, and that's where we established our relationship. He went on to the Raiders and the Seahawks and then to the Texans, again, where he reconnected with Matt Schaub, who was on the Falcons team as Michael Vick's quarterback. Ha helped Schaub really develop into a great quarterback. But for all, for all the players he coached and the coaches he coached with, the thing you're hearing most about him was the lives he's touched. He was an incredibly optimistic guy, Patrick who never, ever, I've never heard him talk bad about a player or any of the coaches that he's coached with. That's a rarity uh, in the NFL. And just so much that you're hearing about Greg when he lived and now that he has gone from us was just how positive and optimistic he was. And he, he will be missed big time. Yeah, we've seen uh, some of the, the outreach uh, coming up on display there from people in and around the league. A tremendous loss uh, for the Jets and the NFL community as a whole. Thanks, Steve Weish there looking in on the life of Greg Knapp, who is survived by his wife, Charlotte, and three daughters, Jordan, Natalie, and Camille. Uh, Greg Knapp, dead at 58 years old.